Former police officer convicted of murder is back on trial, this time facing the family of the 15-year-old he killed. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. First at 530, former Bald Springs police officer Roy Oliver, convicted of murdering an unarmed 15-year-old, is now on trial in a federal civil lawsuit. The lawsuit filed by the father of Jordan Edwards seeks compensation for his wrongful death. Fox Wars' Lori Brown is live in Dallas. Lori. Clarice, Jordan Edwards' brother, who was driving the car at the time of the shooting, broke down on the witness stand as he described to the jury the moment that he saw his brother limp and covered in blood. Since this is a federal court case, cameras were not allowed in the courtroom. In less than one minute, April 29, 2017, the events unfolded that ended the life of 15-year-old Jordan Edwards. It also forever changed the life of Roy Oliver, now serving a 15-year prison sentence for his murder. Now a jury will consider whether the families owed monetary damages for their son's death. The jury of six is made up of five men and one woman, three are white, two Asian, and one black. Oliver's attorney repeatedly showed the jurors body cam video that captured the moments leading up to Edward's death. As the officers were responding to a complaint about the party, shots were fired. The two officers then rushed to respond. One officer yelled for an Impala leaving the party to stop. Edward's brother was driving the car. He told the jury he did not realize it was a police officer yelling at him to stop. Eric Knight witnessed it all and testified about what he saw. He spoke with us after he was dismissed. I mean, the main thing that we heard were, was um, I mean, one of the officers coming down the street saying, stop that effing car, stop that effing car. And um, I mean, we heard the glass shatter. We saw the shots fired. Officer Roy Oliver had retrieved his high-powered rifle and fired the five shots at the fleeing car. His attorney argued Oliver thought the car was going to hit the officer who was yelling for the car to stop. Did it appear that any of the officers were in danger? Uh, from my point of view and from my opinion, no, I don't think so. Um, of course, I'm not trained, you know, in the court of law. I'm not a police officer or anything of that nature. I know they were responding to uh, what they heard, which is their job. You know, but uh, from my point of view, I do not think that either one of them were in harm's way from the car. In one of the most difficult moments of the day, jurors saw photos of Edward's limp body beside a strawberry soda he had just gotten at a store. And he always had a smile on him. Outside of that, he was always super happy. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, uh, for what happened, you know, it's really out of our control. But, yeah, there's no telling what Jordan could have did with his future. Roy Oliver was wearing a suit and tie. He did not show any emotion, but he did take notes throughout the day. The trial will resume at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow, and the defense is expected to wrap up its case tomorrow. Clarice. All right, Lori Brown live in front of the federal courthouse in downtown Dallas. Lori, 